I think it's worth talking about the history. Um, I'll do I think, the best I can. Yeah. Since I was there. He was, yeah, that's true. <laughs> 1916. Hi, I'm James Walker. And I'm Bruce Miller. Today we're going to cook Nathan's hot dogs. This is what made Nathan's what they are today, is this, this hot dog. So as if this isn't exciting enough, we are demonstrating the chili and cheese lovers kit. Yep. Which includes the hot dogs, includes our crinkle cut Nathan's signature french fries. Correct. I'm gonna drown mine in chili and cheese. These are the Nathan's famous chili and cheese toppings, the same ones we put on hot dogs right. in our restaurants. And this is an extremely popular way that customers like to dress their hot dogs and french fries. 44 years, you've been cooking these hot dogs. I have. They're a natural casing hot dog. Secret spice recipe back from 1916. Actually, it's a family recipe. It started as a small stand on this corner of Surf and Stillwell. Uh, it was started by a man named Nathan Hamworker and his wife, Ida. They sold the nickel hot dog. It was a beef hot dog with a secret spice recipe. And the rest is history. I remember Nathan's when I was a little boy, my dad used to say, let's get something good today. And I always knew that meant we're going to Nathan's. So he'd get pack us up in his car. This is a real 50s DeSoto. And we'd drive out to Nathan's in Coney Island in Brooklyn. And he'd jump out of the car and he'd get the French fries and he'd jump out and get the Cokes. And then of course he would get the hot dogs. And I, I remember that uh, biting into a Nathan's hot dog for the first time how delicious and how beefy it was. It was definitely something that stuck with me for my whole life. You'll notice that Nathan's hot dogs have a certain bend to it. That's natural, that's because it's a natural It's like casing. it's smiling at you. Try to put it on a, on a flat top pan or a grill, or when you're barbecuing, these are fantastic on the barbecue. That's how I like to do it. They're just terrific. You want to cook a Nathan's hot dog real slow, let it get a chance to heat up, when it does hit your tongue, you want to get the full flavor profile of the spices that's sure. in this hot dog. Yeah. And do you know the secret spice recipe? I do know it. I I do have it. You have, but so I you cannot. Actually, I cannot share. You're not going to share it. No. Okay. You, you'll kill me. Nathan's famous is the flavor of New York. They are made, yeah, made in New right York here City in New York City by local hot dog artisans and each one an individual work of art because they're handmade because of the natural casing. Yep. Gives it that little bit of pop, that little bit of bite, seals in the, the juices, the aroma, and the secret spices, which you're gonna tell everybody now. No. No. The chili smells fantastic, really rich. I smell a lot of spices, cumin. I'm not, this is another secret recipe you know? It's a meat chili, no beans, and it has a certain flavor profile that we've selected that complements Nathan's hot dog. And then real cheddar cheese sauce, right, look at that, wow. And, and that uh, cheddar comes roaring through in that cheese sauce, that's what makes it so good. So we've got fresh out of the oven, Nathan's famous signature french fries. Yep, they're crispy and they're soft in the middle. Topped with chili and cheese to go along with our Nathan's famous natural casing hot dogs, also topped with chili and cheese. It is a chili cheese lover's uh, delight. Extravaganza? Extravaganza. You could only get this in the restaurant. You couldn't get this anywhere else. Now you get this on Gold Belly and have a Nathan's experience at home. Just like you're at the restaurant, it'd be better because you're at home. It's great. And no lines. No lines. No li And no seagulls. Well, I don't know about the seagulls. Uh.